Hi. Have you ever been stuck at home? Thinking, how can I start all over again? 22 years of marriage. What could I do to change things? I've got an idea. I'm going to take in lodgers. You're not serious here? Then Gerald moved in. Can I help you? I found you about the, the room. Yeah, please. <laughs> Very nice. Something big in the city. I think they're interested in investing a half a billion dollars over here. Very successful. Yes! Apparently, he'd had uh, woman trouble. Whoever she is, she's got terrible taste. What could he see in me? A very attractive woman. I mean, after all, I know it has to be his mother. I knew it was too good to be true. Then I saw her. I came right out and asked him. I just wondered who the, the woman is who lets herself in at night. She's a friend. Very close. I think I got a bit more than I bargained for. I'm a transvestite. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's a perfectly heterosexual man who just happens to like dressing up in frocks. It's rather exciting. Well, I never. I wasn't losing a fella so much as gaining a girlfriend. It's just not like I expected it to be at all. What did you think it was going to be like? It's what he likes to do, you know. Yeah. It's his hobby. Yeah, yeah. It's like golf or something. <laughs> we were having so much fun. I just knew something would go wrong. Trouble is. Your word against theirs, isn't it? So that's it. I'm fired. And from now on, whenever you feel the urge to dress up in female clothes, you will feel complete revulsion. I want to put them on. <laughs> <laughs> now we're taking on the big boys. Well, as Gerald says, it's every girl for himself. Big girls, don't cry. Isn't that just like a woman? Dressing? Not tonight, thanks. Don't cry. Who said 